Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. Today, we are going to try and fix the misfire. So a couple days ago, the Jeep got a rod knock because it ran out of oil somehow in 1700 miles. Um, I blame it because they put synthetic in it and it burned, leaked, whatever happened to it, it was gone in 1700 miles. But the other issue with this is we have a misfire and it just got really bad after that rod knock all of a sudden so we're gonna put a new coil pack on it and spark plugs see if that helps her out in the future we'll probably have to do spark plug wires but it is 65 degrees 65 degrees outside and off there's no mirrors oh well maybe from a birthday but right now we're going doorless we're going mirrorless let's get to the shop and get this thing running right Doorless weather is freaking great. I can't wait for summertime to take the top off too, baby. Woo! I can't wait for summer to go off road with the doors off, with the top off. It is going to be great as long as the Jeep runs magnificent. I can't wait for it. And I can definitely not wait to get this lifted. see if she we're gonna do a pull oh I hear her knocking that's floor oh yeah you hear that cylinder all right so before I forget to record any of this we jumped right into it my dad just put me on this right when we got here so this is the coil pack there's four bolts on it. Uh, they were 13s, so four 13s you take off and then you pull that up and there's a little connector plugged into it. So you take that off and this coil pack comes off. But before you do that, before I forget, you have to take off your intake tube, your manifold tube, whatever you want to call it. But now we're into getting the spark plugs out. So there's spark plug one, five more to go. And now we're going to inspect all of them. All the spark plugs are out. This was number one, number two, number three, number four is this one. This one was number five. And this is number six. So the further down we went, starting from front to back, I feel like the worst they got. Now, I read NGK's people don't like running them in their Jeeps. I read it on the Jeep page. A lot of people were talking about them. My dad said you should put champions in them. So he got me six champions. We're going to put those in the new coil pack. But I mean, it's only been two to five minutes, something like that. It was really simple to pull off and take everything out. But the Jeep does still knock and it sucks. But we're gonna see it, how long it runs, if it'll last, whatever. We'll probably still put the 33s on it if the motor's cooked anyways, might as well cook it the rest of the way. Now, if you've never done spark plugs, you have to gap them a little bit. This Jeep tells you somewhere on here, where did you, did you just find that? Oh, right there it is. My YJ with the four banger was the same way, but if you're wondering, where is it at? There it is. Specific tools. Where's the thingy? There it is. Oh, thought you were done with it. <laughs> and just like that, you reverse everything you did. Spark plugs are in. Coil pack is in. Oh, that should not be in there. Gotta put this back on now. Plug everything back in. Hopefully the misfire is fixed, but the knock is not fixed, sadly. Aw, oh, you son of a biscuit. It didn't record anything. Bastard. Oh well. 
I don't know why my phone didn't start recording right away, but it still feels like it. Oh yeah. It's idling at 500 still. But if you guys don't believe it has rod knot, You can't tell me you don't hear that. Well guys, sadly, the $135 I'm spending on this coil pack and spark plugs is not going to fix our issue. My dad plugged the scanner in. There's multiple misfires now. There is, it said, I think it said something about the cat. I don't know, man. I mean, I've had this thing for, two months i've made one payment on it i've driven it 1700 miles it ran out of oil because the mechanic put synthetic oil in this and it is was completely gone um i mean i don't even know what to say like it's annoying that when i took it back to them they told me there's water in the spark plugs that they cleaned it out it didn't fix it we replaced the stuff still not fixed so we're going to be getting in contact with that dealer and figuring some stuff out <laughs>